the Boeing 787 launched with all Nippon Airways at the beginning of the 2010s. Since its debut, it's been a fantastic option for customers looking for a wide-body airliner, with its brilliant efficiency and generally a plane that's become a true game-changer. However, as with any aircraft program, studies will always take place on how to bring it to the next level, make it attract more interest and customers, and further stamp its authority in a segment that, as we know, already faces heightened competition. For the Boeing 787, in recent years, there's been discussions around the birth of a freighter variant. But what does such a freighter entail? How firm are the reports? And would this be a good idea? Let me now explore those very questions, and with over 80% of viewers unsubscribed, it would mean a lot if you hit that button and try and help the channel push for 40,000. Currently, the Boeing 787 series comes in three primary variants. The 7878, acting as the smallest variant in the series in terms of a capacity, followed by the Dash 9, which is like the middle ground and definitely the most popular variant that'll often be selected. Lastly, there's the larger 787-10 with its increased capacity that has proven to be an excellent aircraft for long-haul flying when customers need additional capacity. Adding a 787-F into the mix would see the plane have a new priority in terms of freighter movements coming into the scene. But what would a freighter variant actually entail? When speaking with Freightwaves the previous year, Boeing's CEO discussed how developing a 787 freighter in the current market space would be essential when understanding how to replace the 767F. Currently, Boeing is actually enjoying a lot of success with the continued life of the 767 program, so many years after the passenger variant's production had actually been closed. Data analysis through my side gig with Flight Radar 24 showed that the 767 has enjoyed a substantial rebound following the pandemic, and the split between passenger to freighter aircraft has definitely closed, with more and more companies introducing this freighter variant. However, Boeing will eventually need to launch a new alternative for cargo needs, and one not as large as the 777-8F, which was recently announced. In comes the 787 Dreamliner. It is also essential to consider that the plane maker must terminate production of two freighter types, the 767 and 777, by 2027 leading into the 2028 calendar year. This is to be in line with the global emission rules. While the manufacturer works to find a solution on these two programs, the 787F remains pitted as the proper candidate to be able to move forward with. Such reports surrounding a 787 freighter, or should I actually say in this sense, comments directly from Boeing's CEO, doesn't really get much firmer. But in the past, we've also seen reports come from reputable Bloomberg that said only a few months earlier that Boeing was indeed mulling a 787 freighter as it looked towards replacing existing freighter programs. The 767F is enjoying brilliant demand right across the globe, and Boeing has actually been very fortunate to recently experience a pretty large stronghold on the freighter market. Despite Airbus's best efforts to launch passenger-to-freighter models, dedicated freighters, and so much more, Boeing has remained a leading choice when customers have sought answers to their cargo needs. All you need to do is take a very brief look at their portfolio without even reading into specifications of each freighter aircraft to see that they have almost every single avenue covered with very established aircraft programs. As Airbus though progresses with its own A350F and no doubt also studies future alternatives, Boeing will really want to ensure that they continue their dominance and the 787F could very well be that answer. Regarding the variant to base such a 787 freighter off, well, discussions at the 2023 Paris Air Show saw Stan Deal, the CEO of Boeing Commercial Airplanes, say they were eyeing utilising potentially the Dash 8 as the base, however also assessing options regarding the Dash 9. Those are definitely the finer details, and right now actually understanding the demand for such a plane and its capabilities is essential into firming up those later decisions. Boeing certainly won't be launching a clean sheet design as a freighter if they won't do so for passenger purposes. That doesn't make sense. So away from the 737 MAX, there is nothing in between that and the 777-8F. 
bar the 787 series, which makes it a prime candidate for the future. While experiencing a tough couple of years, the 787 program has definitely enjoyed a steady return to deliveries and production, as Boeing, and I must say, touch wood, has thus far been able to rid the program of any minor or substantial niggles that maybe in the past would have derailed progress for the plane. However, for Boeing, it's now understanding how to keep people interested in the program. The first aircraft was introduced over a decade ago now, and the program was launched far longer ago than that. With deliveries no doubt being taken up to the 2030s for passenger flying and orders still coming in, the 787 will be flying for many, many more decades. But what could a freighter program do? Well, it would allow an avenue for an extended production life while increasing orders for the program. Take a look at the Boeing 7478 series. It definitely lacked in terms of passenger interest, but it was the freighter program that kept it alive for so long. And yes, while the results were still underwhelming, it gave the program an extra boost. In addition, the question is how does Boeing make the aircraft potentially more efficient than ever? A minor upgrade's going to be possible to benefit the aircraft's future performance, or are they studying something else? So, really the underlying question is, will we see a 787 freighter? Per Boeing, it definitely seems to be their focus when we're talking future freighter projects, and more of a when rather than if. Some definitely believe the 787F isn't the right aircraft for the industry, and Boeing would actually be better positioned to re-engine the 767 and develop a new 767-say XF that can act as a stopgap until Boeing comes up with something entirely new. When that would be, well, potentially the late 2030s for a freighter if a passenger aircraft won't enter until the mid-2030s. Just like every program, though, there are valid concerns around costs, engine manufacturers' support, human resources, and much more. All that to consider for a plane that is just essentially acting as a stopgap rather than something that will look to be around for many, many, many decades. Even though people, yes, do support a re-engine, they do believe there would also be support from the likes of General Electric with their GENX, which is what Boeing was initially studying when they were looking to re-engine the 767 program as a way to extend the plane's life. It definitely presents an interesting question that I suppose I will leave you all on. If you were in the shoes of Boeing, do you progress with a re-engine of the 767 for freighter purposes, as it was initially discussed but clearly dropped many, many years ago? Or do you progress with a dedicated 787 freighter to take you into the many decades ahead? Either way, a decision must be made in the future unless Boeing can source extensions as they look to be one step ahead of their competition and continue the firm grip that they have on the freighter market. I'll leave you on that question and as always, you can leave any further thoughts down below in the comments. I very much appreciate your support that you show here on the channel. Take care and be safe and I'll see you next time. And we'll fly.